Hello and welcome back to Trails into Reverie. We just finished Lloyd's route. Oh. We will not save Lloyd. We will make sure that he is dead. Stab him in the neck. Is that all? Who are you? Yeah. No. I can fight! Kurt! I'm ready! Pathetic. Kurt! Kurt's dead. <laughs> so many deaths. You fell head first. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. At this rate. Come what? on, we'll hide under the bridge. We need to get to Instructor Rain ASAP if we're going to figure out some way to help out Ash and Musei. I agree. We need to get out of this icy water before it saps any more of our strength. That should be our top prior- Why are you there anyway? I hope you don't think I can't see you down there. Is anywhere safe from her? No one escapes the icy maiden when she's this serious, I fear. I can't believe this is happening! What's up? <laughs> First Lloyd's dead. Several hours before. Sight. So, this is where you grew up, Instructor? What a wonderful place. It's so peaceful and calming. I figured the snow would have all melted by this time of year. Most of it has. This is just what's left over. You would have really seen some snow if we were here a month ago. Oh, how lovely. It's nice to be honeymooning in a winter wonderland. Shut up! I owe this town much after all they did for me two years ago. I think we owe you more than you owe us. Oh, yeah. You used Ymir as your base during the Civil War, right? Yeah. She did a ton of work to improve our defenses and our communications network. I suppose it's been two years for me as well. The last visit I recall was when I was tasked with abducting Princess Alfin and Instructor Reen's little sister. <laughs> it's, um, also been a while for you, Reen, hasn't it? Why don't we start by letting your parents know that we're here? That sounds good to me. I want to introduce all my students to them. It's going to feel a little strange meeting our instructor's parents. Y yeah, I'm feeling kind of nervous all of a sudden. I, for one, can hardly wait to say hello to my future in-laws. <laughs> I've got a whole uh, lot of stories to tell them about their little baby boy. <sighs> Please don't embarrass me in front of my family. <sighs> what? Being guilty? And is this no thuzz?
M. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Hello. Papa Swarj. Mama Swarj. It's good to see you again, my son. It's been a long half year without you. I'm sorry I haven't been able to visit as often as I'd like. Especially since it sounds like Elise has been too busy to come home as well. She's asked me to give you both her regards. Well... I'm sure St. Astraea's student council is keeping her plenty busy. I just hope she doesn't work herself sick. I'm sure she's just fine. The younger students all seem to adore her. And she has her highness there if she's ever in need of a friend to talk to. I've also been keeping an eye out to make sure no insects start buzzing around her. <laughs> Are you now? That overprotectiveness may create more trouble than it prevents. Poor Elise. It's a pleasure to see you both again, Lord and Lady Schwarzer. The same to you, Major Revelt. Mm. It's not hard to imagine that the RMP must be exceptionally busy at the moment. I hope your time here will help ease some of your weariness. Thank you, Your Lordship. Oh, and these must be your students. That's right. My name is Kurt Vander. I have learned much under Instructor Reen's exemplary tutelage. You would be one of the rare practitioners of the Vander School's dual blade style. I've heard that despite how capable you are, you're not one to rest on your laurels. Humble too. Unusual and admirable qualities in someone of your age. I am honored you would speak of me that way, but I'm afraid you overestimate me. Oh, I don't think so. Up. Name's Ash Carbide. If you've heard it, chances are it's because your son was complaining about what a pain in the ass I am. <laughs> On the contrary. I've heard there's much more to you than that prickly exterior of yours. To Reen's to told me do. that deep down, you're a very smart, considerate oh, young man who your fellow students depend on. The hell? Yeah, just... You wanna watch what bullcrap you're feeding your folks about me, Schwarzer? Sorry, you're just stuck being a big old softy. The denial is what makes him oh so lovable. I am Yusei Egret. It's a pleasure. I owe much to both of your children. Ah, I've heard much about you. It can't be easy to shoulder so much responsibility at such a young age. Not at all. Instructor Reen's love and support give me the strength necessary. Oh my! Love, you say? <sighs> Can't you spare me your harassment in front of them? <laughs> I see that Elise wasn't exaggerating. You are quite the character. I'm glad that she and Reen have someone like you to come to when they need it. Think nothing of it. That's what family does. Doesn't miss a beat, does she? She certainly does not. My name is Una Crawford. It's a pleasure to meet you. I found myself in Instructor Reen's debt before even enrolling at the I Academy, and I've constantly been in it since. But I've been trying to learn as much as I can from him so that one day, I can be a source of strength to others just like him. Oh, you're the young lady from Crossbell. What a commendable spirit you have. I agree. You seem every bit the earnest, cheerful young woman Reen told us you were. Uh, what else did he say about me? He told us. You never give up even when all seems lost, and act like a shining beacon of light to those around you. It seems he really depends on you. That's really flattering to hear. But also really embarrassing to hear in front of my classmates. You're not the only one going red. 
How are you not completely desensitized to the things you say by now? I feel a little jealous, truth be told. <laughs> anyway, I've had my turn now. Last up is you. Hello, Altina. Altina Orion. Hmm. <laughs> You okay, Ali? I'm the one who abducted Elise and the princess during the Northern Jaeger's attack on Ymir two years ago. Altina... I know I have no right to even be here after the harm my actions caused you. But since I have this opportunity... I am so terribly sorry for what I did. That must really have been eating away at her. And shoot you in the head. Please, raise your head. You were but a child following orders, and you did nothing to harm either of them. You need not feel any guilt for your actions. Still... There is something I would like to say to you as well. Thank you, Altina. Or what? I hear you were always at Reen's side during the year he was fulfilling the government's demands after the Civil War. Yeah. I'm truly grateful he had you to support him. I was just following orders then, too. <laughs> Even so. Besides, you're not here today because you were ordered to be, are you? I... That's true. I'm part of Class 7 because I chose to be and want to be. Aww. <laughs> Our class wouldn't be the same without you. Then you have no reason not to feel completely welcome here. You're a lucky man to have so many wonderful students, Reen. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Oh, there's enough talking.
just the two of us. Aww. Huh, huh.